Alright, so this is the first little test of my super groovy new camera. Which is pretty awesome! Not quite sure how I've got it set up at the moment, I'm just trying to figure out all of the controls. So I thought I'd do a little inventory of all the models, Warhammer stuff, which I... Oh, it's an absolute tip on my bed, that I currently possess because... Hi! The uh, main reason I'm... Uh, what's the term? Uh, getting this camera, aside from the fact I'm a filmmaker and can could really do some film. Oh look, I can get it to focus! Oh man, that's awesome! Um, I can get it to film, is the fact that I... First off, obviously I'm making short films, kind of useful. Secondly, I plan on recording loads of battle reports, like Warhammer 40k. I'm actually going to be making my first one tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be playing Declan at 1850 points of Warhammer 30k. And uh, this is what I'll be bringing. So, if I flick you over, first thing I've got, I've got... <laughs> Box it. Well, one of my lists. I decided I wanted. Sorry if the camera's a bit jerky, by the way. I have a dis I have a dislocated shoulder, and I'm having to do this like sort of two-handed, left hand. I don't know if I show you, my... ah, bloody hell. If I show you, oh, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit of difficulty with the uh, sling right there, but eh, it's not as bad as it could be. I'm on a lot of paint meds though, which is always fun. So the camera itself came with. It was nearly a grand, this thing. I dipped into my savings quite heavily, but definitely worth it. It's come with a full dead cat, for a start. Um, full mic kit. It's got a... Actually, I might put this on it. Hang on a second. If I can flick that onto there, if, if only I was, you know, a competent human being. No, come on. Come on. Hang on, I need to find the actual slidey nozzles. There's, like, little things... Like, there we go. Oh, no. Almost. I almost had it. There we go. Clicked into place and then we can just open with a slider. And what this does is gives it a better sort of letterboxing and it protects the lens a lot better. It's a nice big... It's a big cage for the lens. Um, we've got an audio dock which we can go on top of the camera. I just demonstrated and realised you wouldn't see it. So that can sit on top of the camera and it has a all of the controls for the cameras, the different lines, the mics you can fit in nice little extra start, stop button and the zoom of course as well as the um, uh, inputs which will be useful then of course a holder for the microphone itself that's a knife, you don't want to see that um, free batteries with caps and covers so they're nicely protected, one's in the camera at the moment of course um, I'm pretty sure it can record up to three hours this thing, it's awesome um, cable of course for the camera uh, it's got two SD cards. <laughs> Quite amusingly, the camera can be controlled remotely. Um, and then it's got some other bits and bobs and that sort of thing. But that's the camera itself. Let's get back to the modelling showcase. Again, apologies for the extremely shaky camera. wonder if the little viewfinder... Hey, it works. Uh, it works. So, the first of my armies involves four Imperial Knights. Welcome to House Romulus led by High King Romulus himself in the Night Crusader. Uh, Omen, a disgraced knight who almost fell to chaos and now fights to redeem his name. I'm just loving the quality on this thing. Uh, the, 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 uh, blah, 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 I've forgotten what I called him. Uh, Sir Maximus, the gatekeeper, who's who holds the, cha the knightly home's relics and protects them. And the King's Blade, or King's Ward, Sir Aronus who defends his King Romulus of all his deeds. Uh, my 2000 point lists involves a fifth knight that when is released on Forge World I'll be getting, the Imperial Knight Polymorphin, the one that has an Ordnance 2 Large Blast Twin Linked Magma Cannon. It's amazing! Um, I've recently been running a Death Watch campaign, and in the last one, I'm going to actually record the next one, in the last one they ended up going against this fella here, I've painted up to pretty high standard, I'm proud of how he came out. Um, they ended up fighting this, which was a um, warp phantom on a death world, a great demon that had come out of the warp that had no allegiance to any particular god. They ended up defeating it, despite me as the GM saying, guys, run! So I've had to account that into the next campaign. Talking of which, the next campaign will take place on the world of Trigon, which is a Imperial world that's fallen to the... the, the these are Death Watch members who work for the Ordo Septelomorum. I believe that's how you said. And they investigate the plague zombie virus. And so, I needed zombies. It's going to be the walking 40k. So what we're looking at here is my first batch of 50 plague zombies. These guys. I've got 10 more here. And that is 50 plus 10 is 60. 
That is 140 more down there who will be coming out. I used to collect Necrons, but I'm slowly selling them because I honestly, I don't find Necrons fun to play anymore. They're just easy. Um, but these are a few conversions I made. Azeroth, and let's fix the focus on that. Still getting used to this camera, guys. Do bear with me. I'm not sure which way I need to be turning this. Anyway, so there's is Azeroth the Despoiler. Um, Zaroth the Assassin. Necron Assassin, he's got some fun rules. Uh, the Plague Zombies. My four, my four Assassins, who I have a tendency to field with my Knights. Um, a converted Chaos Lord. And my 30k army of Death Guard. I have 28 Tactical Marines, two of them broke and I ended up... and whatever. So, <laughs> three Apothecaries. I need to paint these guys up. I've got five Grave Wardens, five Death Shroud, a, the, the Betrayal at Calf Box, so it comes with a Legion Chosen and my Praetor, as well as a t Drift, uh, well, a Drop Pod was my brother's and it's a little broken sadly, but it deals, it does the job, a Dreadnought. And last, but not least, the prize of my collection. This thing I took a long while to paint. Mortarion, the Reaper himself. And I wish it would focus so I could show you the detail. If I could... Does the touchscreen work? Oh, the touchscreen works. I think that will help me focus. Come on. There we go. So yeah, this is Mortarion, the... Uh, Mortarion the Reaper. For fuck's sake, it's still blurry. <laughs> Don't quite know how to fix that. Like I say, I'm still learning the camera. There we go, I just have to use the touchscreen. So yeah, I painted them up. I tried to give them this drab armour look, so like a... Gauge sort of armor. He did like he hasn't bothered painting it. He's just, you know, he's just going through the waste of sewers, and he's fun. I, I I actually had absolute joy painting him. I had to fix his scythe, Man Reaper. Uh, that's why there's a bar on it. Resin always breaks. It's somewhat frustrating. Give you the shoulder pads and the full view on him. Oh, it's so nice to actually see him. Like I, my camera, my camera before this was really bad, so. I've had to uh, take some pretty rubbish pictures, but this is the Lord of the t of the Death Guard, Mortarion. I'm super proud of him, how he's turned out. Um, this is my Death Watch team themselves. Um, the Guy of Grav, the Liberian, Jin, the Ultramarine, my Apothecary with a Flame and a Power Sword, and my Relic Blade Assault Marine, he's good fun. We've also been playing a kill team quite regularly. Um, we actually got into it after playing the Death Watch. And on my kill team, I've got a Chaos kill team. I haven't finished painting him yet, but I've got my Chaos... Oh! Well, that's not meant to happen. Chaos Biker Lord. Um, I've got... that's a, This is a Space Wolf model I'm painting up for my mate Jacob. I've got my Slaneshi Biker, who I converted. He's pretty awesome. Uh, my Plague Marine, who I just need to... F oh, shit! A Plague Marine I just need to do a finishing coat of. Again, if I could just get it to actually auto-focus, that'd be wonderful. What happens if I flick this into infrared? Yeah, this camera comes with an infrared setting, it's awesome. So yeah, my Plague Marine. He's pretty groovy. And then what I've got is uh, my Inquisitors, who will be making an appearance in the next campaign. Ignore the ginger beer. Um, so I've got Inquisitor Stax, the Lord Inquisitor himself. Here he's there. Uh, Inquisitor Dorvali, the sniper. A lot of I like. I just. I basically buy models. I enjoy painting. I'm not. You know. Uh, this is a. Just a guy I had. I'm probably going to sell him. Um, another Inquisitor, Zeroth. He's pretty awesome. And one of my favourite ones, Inquisitor. I can't remember what this guy's called. But he's another Inquisitor model who'll be making an appearance. Golden armor. He's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the collection at the moment, as well as. Uh, I'm selling the Monolith and the Storm Talon and the Chaos Lord there, as well as uh, pretty much all my Necron stuff won't, I won't have in a while. Going to be selling them all. I've got three Vendettas, and I need to get a Serestas Assault Ram, uh, because I've got a really fun little flyer list that involves all of those guys. <laughs> so that's basically it. Now it's as well as two, I'm going to sell those as well, and of course some Astra Militarum. But they're not going to be doing a whole lot. So yeah, so, oh, blimey. So yeah, if I can just sort this out. So yeah, putting it simply, we are going to be filming the Death Watch campaign uh, whenever the uh, box set arrives, because I need the um, pie plates and I need the models before we start. 
Um, but yeah, tomorrow the first battle report is going to be 1850 points of Death Guard versus Word Bearers. Uh, though De this is the first 30k battle Declan would have ever played, so we've got to give him, you know, bear with him a little bit. And I, I honestly don't play it that much. I tend to play 40k, there's less opportunity to play 30k. So if we fuck up on the rules, do try to forgive me. Uh, but we'll do what we can to bring you a good sort of game. So if you watch this, thanks very much for watching. What the <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I will. This is just a little test of my new camera, and honestly, it is amazing. So, ow, use the shoulder. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.